sign. That's something Coach Crowley talked to me about earlier. They have to rebound the ball in this game. And Yo-Yo Nogis setting, setting Baskerville into motion. Baskerville now off the She's glass. She's the play here tonight. She's got all of Creighton's points until that basket there. Sure, that leaves so much room for them to cut and back screen. Another one of those cuts for Faber and just expected scoring on players like Scott certainly helps their cause as it did on the road. Here's Creighton trying to add to its lead and they do. One point. Three point. They were up 8-4 at that point. The kick out now. Here's Kira Spiewak for three. And she Faber who's had the hot hand early on. Looking for double digits. And she gets them. Ten points. Janelle Williams turns on the burners. Here's Webb for three. Got it. That one looked good and in time. In the lane had to kick it back out for Nogic down the 10 on the shot clock. Puts up the floater and in. It's a different element to this Creighton team. Webb was trying to set up on the perimeter. Instead, she goes inside for Baskerville. Hurry and nearly a travel there by Elger. Instead, it's another three-pointer. Inside, the Friars go to work a through lot Baskerville. to work with here with these two very tall freshmen. And it was an immediate impact as Geary was Curling around, Owens dishes it off, and there's Agnew for the lay-in off the glass. And we head into this final stretch of conference play. Orlando on the inside, that fight missing all that time, and something that the other players feed off of. Oh, what a take that time from Temi Sarda. Well for them, we see them looking to push a little bit here. I said, you know, they, they've been struggling to score a little bit, so maybe a chance. To, to see what they can do to free them up a bit more. Creighton trying to open things up from the outside, and so Audrey Faber. Because cleared out that whole side. I'd like to see her try and attack the basket. Creighton's on done that. a really nice nope. job on the perimeter today, not allowing the Friars to get good looks from the outside. Cooper on the inside, though, mm -hmm. able to deliver. Rachel Saunders to keep it alive for Creighton. Jolino tips it away all along, coast to coast, and lays it in. To start this third quarter. Bewak from deep, cans it. That shot. Uh, now Webb cutting underneath the basket and in. And Lannery has seen this out of his team all season long. They've had cold spots and hot spots, but getting them back the arc. on. Bewak now trying to penetrate, pulls up, floats it up, and in. And Jolino. just begging her to shoot. Baskerville off the glass with a soft touch. They're able to bat a reason. Audrey. Faber now pumps it up for three. Got it. Wow. Saunders penetrating up and in off the Great glass. Great job of kicking out. Sometimes they're not showing up as assists because they're a drive like that. Nice job. The Friars sharing the basketball. The Eight-point deficit now for the Friars. Sarda pulls up and gets Orlando underneath, again able to hit with the left hand. Orlando Left slipping that. that. Short. Orlando ahead for Jolin. Nice Point. job by Jolin. Creighton trying to add to their six point advantage. A wide open look for a three. Shot clock. It's going to be another buzzer beater here for the Blue Jays. Sarda puts it up and but in laying off the glass. it really high up on the glass. Well, Coach Flannery talked about the need for better execution and clock management as Jolin. 15 points now for Maddie Jolin. A steal by Orlando, puts it up and in off and the glass. Jim Flannery in just a bit. We'll be back with more from Providence right here on Fox Go, presented by SoFi. 